Good morning ladies. I am hanging out with my frozen coffee, which was an awful idea, and my oh I'm sitting on it and my California blanket that you can only see a little bit of because I am wrapped up in this I don't know why I'm so cold because it's like 60 degrees outside right now But I'm freezing anyways as many of you mamas know I am a certified pediatric sleep consultant So today I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips for your babies and toddlers transition to daylight savings time we're about to fall back an hour in a couple weeks and some parents are like dreading this moment so the first thing that I want to say is that you know the temperament of your baby and you know if your child really really needs a very gentle smooth transition to a new time I want to say time I keep wanting to say time zone but it's not a new time zone it's just a new time but some babies you can just put them to bed the day that it changes you can just put them to bed an hour earlier and they'll be fine other babies will freak out. A well-adapted baby may not need this transition time, but if your baby is a little bit more reluctant to change, then you're going to want to take this slow, and you're going to want to do this a week ahead of the change. If you decide not to prepare for this time change, and you have a baby that's reluctant to change, you're going to be dealing with some early wake-up times, trouble falling asleep at night, trouble taking naps, and you might develop some new bad habits with some sleep props like rocking your baby to sleep, putting the binky back in like 20 times a night. So because we are losing an hour and we are going backwards an hour, for a week leading up to the time change, you are going to wanna push your baby's bedtime during the day and at night 15 minutes later for a day or two and then go 15 minutes later a couple days after that and then 15 minutes a couple days after that and then by the time the actual time changes then your baby will be caught up to the right time. You will know how sensitive your baby is to these types of changes based on your child's behavior when maybe he or she misses a nap or if he or she may be in a sleep regression, if your baby is like really kind of just like cranky and fussy for those kinds of transitions, then you're going to want to take this 15 minutes at a time. If your baby is a little more easy going, then you can take it a half hour at a time. You can push the bedtimes by a half hour and leave it there for a couple days and then just do another half hour for a couple days after that and then you'll be caught up with the time change. But slow and steady wins the race here. You're gonna wanna do this slowly and easily if you're going to wanna change your baby's bedtime to be the appropriate bedtime. You're gonna wanna go with the flow. Um, let your baby take the lead. If 15 minutes works one night and then you try and bump it up another 15 minutes the next night and the baby's not having it, then stick with just 15 minutes for a couple days, let your baby get used to that change, and then bump another 15 minutes. Listen to your baby's cues and really try and go with the flow. After the time switch happens, you need to expect a time period for adjustment. It may take about two weeks for your baby's internal clock to completely readjust to this. So if you take two steps forward and one step back, it's okay. Just push through it and you will get through this time change. Um, things that you are gonna wanna make sure that you have in the baby's room are some blackout curtains because you know like the daylight's gonna be all changed and this is gonna suck because it's gonna be dark at like five o'clock and I am not excited for that. Like no human wants it to be dark at five o'clock. I don't know how people live in darkness in Alaska. If you have a toddler, you may wanna get a tot clock so that they know know that if their light is blue they say in bed that's what my kids clock is and then when it's yellow they can get out of bed um, the other thing is that if you have a child who is in a crib and they're waking up too early but they're happy leave them in their crib for a little bit let them know that it's not time to wake up because if you keep getting them up at six o'clock but you don't want them to get up until seven then they're gonna think that six o'clock is their new wake-up time if you just go in and get them just because they're awake so if they're happy and just hanging out in their crib then just kind of leave them be for a little bit and watch and listen just like I said go with your baby and like listen to their cues 
and if your baby is happy then let him or her play in his or her crib and adjust to the time change. I have heard some parents in the past get really frustrated with this time change because it can wreak havoc on some houses and if you prepare ahead of time then you will be prepared and you'll know what to deal with and what cues to look for. Just really make sure to expect that adjustment period, get through it, and if you guys have any questions send me an email, send me a message, do what you gotta do. I can help you get through it. I can set up a whole sleep plan for you. Uh, my website is listed down in the description box and I'm always here to help you guys out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and got some good tips. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share this video with anybody else that you think might need some tips and tricks to get through this time zone, daylight savings time. I keep calling it a time zone. It's not a time zone. It's just where we live. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!